Okay, so okay. what are you blogging about today? Well, today I'm blogging about closure. Hmm. It's, it's, even, it's more like a question, right? And a discussion as well, because the main question is how do you find closure when a particular issue has not really been resolved? Hmm. Right? Hmm. So I'll share a personal experience. So while I was much younger, let's say in primary six, I was staying with my dad. And my dad was a sports person, so he was barely around, he was always traveling. But I had this friend who lived downstairs, right? So I was close to her, I was always going to her place, her family was cool and all that. Meanwhile, she had a friend who she was close to before I moved to where, um, to stay with my dad, right? Okay. So at some point, I don't know if it was out of maybe jealousy or resentment, that friend of hers lied. She said I said something about my friend's father. Hmm. You know how sensitive that is, right? Mm-hmm. So, and of, of course, it's someone's father. So, and of course, her parents were upset. Like, why would you even, you know, we thought you were this kind of person. And growing up, I never used to be the type of person that would defend myself in a situation, you know, fight off, stand for myself. Instead, I would just be crying because I didn't used to talk much. <laughs> so, instead mm-hmm. of me to, you know, say, okay, I didn't do this and try to fight, I, I mostly just keep to myself. I just cry and maybe I try to say I didn't do it, but I don't spend my time convincing you that mm-hmm, I did it mm-hmm. or not, right? So that that took a, a serious strain on our friendship. Because of course our parents would be like, this is bad influence, don't be friends with this person. And that was how it went on. We stopped being close till I moved out of that place, right? So my, with my dad decided to move, so we moved from that place. And about a year or some months later, we met each other again at a children's mass party. And of course, we're excited to see each other as the young people that we were yet trying to catch up and all that. Mm. Oh, I thought Auntie said you should stop talking to stop talking to this person. Right? Okay. And then they say that and there's this awkwardness in the air and then we don't talk anymore. She's like, okay, ah, all right, no problem. Bye bye, I'm going. But then that statement was like, wait, oh, this is really what this is-, is really quite something. And that was how we you know, we never spoke again for years. Like that was how that friendship just died off, right? Wow. And then a couple of years ago, someone followed me on Instagram. And I was like, ah, I didn't the person started liking my pictures. I decided to follow back. And after a while, I started saying, ah, this face looks familiar, right? I feel like I know this person. Let me take time and go through this person's profile. Lo and behold, it's my friend. Hmm. And wow. in as much as I thought I had moved past that whole situation, when I realized it was hard, that whole feeling, that whole experience just sort of came back. And mm. it made me, I wasn't sad, I wasn't happy. I just felt some type of way, like this person used to be my friend, right? And even though I thought all these years I had moved past that, I had moved past that, I had forgiven, I had let go. But even till date, we, we've never spoken. At some point I was caught in between, do I send a message to try and cl- clarify this thing? Because mm. this thing happened since primary school. But do I leave it? It's been years. Maybe she doesn't remember. Maybe, you know, and both of us, we don't message each other. But all we do right, is like each other's pictures. But I'm just saying, anytime I come I, meet, I come across a picture online, that feeling, that memory, somehow, I don't know if it's only me it happens yeah. to, but that feeling just comes up again. And I just, my stomach just, <laughs> I'm just like, oh God, this whole, I start feeling bad. Why didn't I, maybe I should have spoken out. Maybe I should have said something, you know. Maybe I should have done more, but somehow it feels like it's too late somehow it feels like there's no point of me trying to fix the whole situation i don't know if anybody else has been in that situation before how do you oh how do you move on especially when maybe there's a possibility that you can never sit down again to try and resolve problems like that you know well sometimes we're lucky we might have an opportunity to talk about it and move on sometimes we might just never do that right so how wow. do we as individuals try to move on from that process a lot right man you see, you see this thing you're talking about <laughs> I, I i i kid you not about everybody can relate with it right. see the people that might say they cannot relate with it might be in denial and and they show a lot of True. us are in denial and sometimes the denial True. is actually a a genuine denial <laughs> i mean you don't even yeah. know you don't even know you still have that feeling until the True. day you get a trigger 
or until the day you like mm. hear from that person or you 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 see something or when there's a trigger it just brings back a gush of those old emotions that you those thought memories. you were yes. over with so we all have them so that True. it's a very good conversation to have very very good conversation True. to have because i do have mine um and like you shared yours and you were listening to the show right now i'm sure you can relate but if i if i can say anything to this right now um and, and the conversation yep. is still open yeah but for me i'll say one of the major things to do is to identify the emotion like to say you know what this is how i feel and that you see mm-hmm. that phase is one of the if you can cross that phase you are like almost halfway done because a lot of people are still in denial oh no i'm forgiving him now no it's nothing it's nothing hey bro it's, yeah. it's, it's not nothing it's something <laughs> it's something <laughs> so <laughs> so i think that once one can can acknowledge the emotions like acknowledge this is how i feel i'm angry or i'm bitter or you know mm. if you can acknowledge that's like one step now the second step i think like i said it's personal opinion but it works for me the second yeah. step is to express it like to to express it um okay. and, and some for some of us we are not lucky to be able to express it to the person maybe time has gone maybe you're in different uh, geographical lo- locations maybe we have so first if you have contact with the person or the people or you know express it expression might be like oh man right. this happened last night oh, my team pain me or then so for some people it's resolved that way they're like oh no not be like that you know for some people for yeah. some people they make it worse because they even come back exactly. at you but i think expressing it does a lot in this closure of a thing that we're saying after the expression true and you know the funny thing the expression could even be like you're doing right now talking to somebody else about it or writing about yeah. it or blogging about it or journaling about it but just let it out and when you have now True. done that one my sister you move on man <laughs> <laughs> you move True, on as in we move that, we m- move <laughs> right. man so i mean <laughs> that's what i think once you have been able to identify it you've been able to express it or more after that point you move you True. move True. you know but True. but 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 it's i think we all treat our closure in different ways uh we all get closure in mm-hmm. different ways depending on the situation uh yeah yeah ah. so what are you gonna do about this one now <laughs> i <laughs> I, you know, I just realized i truly like you said i've never really spoken to anyone about it all right you know i think the first time i, I did talk about it was when I found out that she was the one that was following me. I had to talk to a friend of mine, like, oh, see what happened to me yeah. a couple of years ago. And honestly, I thought I was over this thing until it you know, I, I come across her profile in the game. Yes. And it's like, I mean, it never left. I just sort of buried it because with time, you know, time has a way of just yeah. making you forget things. And But, I'm, but it's, I still get that feeling. It's like, I'm over it. Funny enough, some years ago, I, I found contact with the person that even instigated all these things, right? <laughs> and we're cool. Oh, the, the oh, best. We were, we're the talking. Other... We're all right. But you know how? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the one that is to get edit, you, you are know, cool with that one. <laughs> I'm cool with that person. But you know how our friendship was? I had more of the genuine friendship with this person. With the person I was pitched against. You right. Get? So that's yeah. why I think it hurts the most. And yeah. for some reason, maybe I thought she would have understood that I would never do that. Right. You know that moment of, okay, I, you're my friend. Even if this person says this, I believe you should have given me the benefit of okay. doubt. I'm not going to tell your parents without talking to me that I did this. I don't know if you get. Yeah, so I yeah, think I that's do. probably one of the reasons why it hurts the more on this mm. side than on the other person that even did it. Because yeah. then you can't really get angry at people you're not close to yeah. or people you feel don't know you. True, uh, that true, kind of thing. true very well said you know what guys um share with us on twitter on instagram how do you how do you get closure all right how do you handle that uh, you know personally maybe true. we can learn from that as well too so guys uh do share with us but deja you have done so well uh thanks for sharing with us your radio Thank blog you. i mean something Thank to think about <laughs> sure it is you know what see <laughs> it is. De- let's do this why not hit this person up on instagram yeah and and just you know see if you guys can talk and you know, uh, you know. <laughs> see, i need to get special revelation before i do that because <laughs> the last thing i want to do is reopen old wounds and yeah. start afresh again ah yeah God, no, 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 no. yeah i i get it i get it i get it but anyway thank you for sharing with us though thank you
Thank you for having me. Thank All you right. so much. Bye now. Bye. Ooh. Oh, my man.